Hello everybody, welcome to Final Fantasy 4. We are going to the Underworld. And we are automatically being moved on our own. There's nothing I can do here. I apologize. Not really, but I mean I do. Anyways, the Red Wings. Wait, what? The Red Wings? Wait, what? The hell are the Red Wings doing here? Oh crap. Oh, this is not good. Um, well, move. Guys, come on now, move. Hurry up, come on now. Must have beaten us. No, really? No, we beat them here and then we just waited 20 years for them to come here. Come on. Really? Who are they fighting? I don't know, tanks. I'm gonna bust through the line. Hang on. If that means getting out of the way, that would be a good thing. But, nope, too late. Man, now the second old man is gonna kill us. Or die. <sighs> she won't hold together. Well, then move. Heh. <laughs> no comment there. Alright. Well, there you go. We're dead. Right? Cecil! Really? That's the first person you go for? Well, that makes sense. Guess I can't complain. No, oh, really? Is everyone alright? No, we all died. We're all dead. But my ship, we have to land. It's too risky in this game. You didn't land yet? Really? Oh, now you did. And, as you can tell, we are officially in the underworld forever. And I can't even move one freaking step without getting attacked by monsters. Awesome. But that's okay. There's really not much here that you have to worry about. I just, just pray, whatever. Hey, it actually worked. Cool. And again, meh, meh for everyone. Ow. So you can just have her attack. Yeah, overall, I mean, the monsters here really aren't too difficult. Eh, silence. I don't think that really matters, but whatever. 666. Number of the beast killed a beast. How ironic. But, yeah, Dwarf Castle. Here we are. Yep, we get to find and meet dwarves. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is get new equipment. Because I forgot you could get equipment here. Because I'm stupid. Not really, but... Ugh. Gotta love... Okay, apparently we cannot. Not yet. Awesome. Welcome. Uh-huh. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome here today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, okay, no. I'm not gonna sing that. The ruler of the underworld. State your business. We've come in search of the dark crystals. Ah, I see. You are like the others, but from what I've witnessed, I see you're not on their side. From what you have witnessed, it, we've been here like two minutes. How could you possibly base any, any decision at all based on two minutes of just watching? You're not a very good king, are you? Where are the dark crystals? Have they been taken? They have stripped us of two. Now, two room. Wow. Congratulations. How long have the freaking Red Wings even been here? A day? Not even? And you already lost two crystals? Jeez, I thought we were terrible at it. One step. To yeah. I would say that's more than one step too late. The castle's crystal is still safe. Our tanks fought them off. The airship's on the way here. Yeah, that's true. Well, apparently, they did pretty well, though, which is good. Airships, you call them. The overworld creates many incredible wonders. Yeah, and to us, seeing your freaking tanks is actually quite interesting ourselves. Our tanks have taken quite a beating. Can you help us with your airship? Honestly, we need to repair her first. The attack really busted her good. We will do anything in our power to help you repair your airship. Ah, she won't last in the heat of this lava anyway. I'll make temporary fixes for now. Oh crap. And fly back up to the surface and gather me some mineral to armor her better. 
that's it! Wait! Just button up and relax, I'll be back before you know it. I forgot about this, yay! I'm a tough old man. Yeah, you're still an old man. The first old man died, so don't, don't be stupid. And there you go, Sid has left the party and I didn't freaking get the Quake Hammer back from him. Oops! Then again, he's the only one who can really use hammers anyway, so it's not that much of a deal. Ugh. In the safest place in the castle, hidden behind my throne. <laughs> Yang, what's wrong? Someone is spying on us. Um. R what? Really? I blame Kane. It's Kane's fault. Kane did it. The fuck was that? Wait, now? Perhaps it was your imagination. I wish it were so, but I definitely sense a presence. His chi is calling him! As I'm making the double horn sign. Weird. Open the door! Yes, sire! Da da da! We are the lumberjacks, we are gay. You know, they're not lumberjacks, they're. Oh, I guess I could be. There are dwarves, after all. It's locked! Oh, awesome! We were tr Could we be even more trapped? Yip ho ho! Wait, what? Dolls? Aw, oh, crap! Rag the hands and come back for bed. Oh, I killed the joke! Damn it! Wait, that never happened. Zoop! Let me remake the joke. Raggedy Ann's come back for us. There we go. I was gonna say something like Raggedy Ann's come to like kick her ass or something. But I screwed it up and I, I'm so sad. Maybe it's Barbie. Barbie's tired of being a bitch. Or being a... Considered a bitch, I guess you could say. Calcabrinas. Okay. We're cute. And we're scary. We'd love to kill. Let's take their heads. Wow, awesome rhyming. Yeah! A gift for Gomez. Yep, ho ho! <laughs> right. So there we go, we get to fight these people. We get to fight dolls. Lovely. Oh crap. I forgot to change something. And now I'm sad. Wait, is that gonna happen now? I don't remember. Maybe not. Well, anyways, these really shouldn't be all that difficult. Just, you know, attack them all. Do random attacking, attackingness. And there you go. Things should be fine. Obviously, the Calcos are more powerful than the Brinos. So, really just... I don't know. You don't really need to use magic on here. Yet. Note I said yet. So, save. There you go. And there are the Calcabrina! Our next boss! For... I, I completely forgot about this part, man. Oops. Well, now would be a oops, good time to... Protect and shell and... Haste. If you, and you, actually, you can haste now. Sweet. Ow! Frig, man. Um... Yeah, let's just use Kira. On Cecil. Yeah, obviously Rosa's MP is, or, yeah, MP is huge. Her, actually, thanks to the rune staff now, her spirit is way, up, way higher than usual, or than you would usually have it, so that's awesome. Can't use Lincoln, everyone, okay. Um, let's see here, we can use, anyway, let's use haste. Oh, also to note, uh, Rosa obviously won't have a uh, Osmos, so be careful about that. I mean, you'll be more than likely using all the ethers you have on her. But, wow, that was a hell of a lot easier than I thought. And you ain't getting the level. So I just wasted a haste. Oops. Big bully. But now Gobez knows about this place. He's gonna getcha. Getcha, getcha, getcha. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. No, 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 not now. No, I want to change something. Our paths cross again. Shit. Oh no, 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 not you! 
Golbez. What are you doing here? I commend you for finding your way through the underworld. Oh, thank you. To reward your efforts, I shall tell you why I'm collecting the crystal. You are a moron. Why would you tell us what you want to do? You're the enemy. We don't tell you what we're going to do, obviously. Well, it is obvious anyway, as I was going to say. Eight crystals of light and dark are keys to reactivating the Tower of Babel, which leads to the moon. Legends says, say that the moon possesses power beyond our comprehension. I need only one more crystal to materialize my dream. You have been a great aid to my quest. Now prepare for your final reward. Which is none other than death. You can't win this. This is a but thou must die. So just whatever. Doesn't really matter what you do. Just attack, I guess. I don't know. You can attack. You can not do anything. You know, whatever you want to do. This is probably going to be a long level, isn't it? Or a long episode level. <laughs> uh, I'm thirsty. And I see a water bottle right in front of me and I can't drink it because that would be unprofessional. Burr burr. Ice bind. And there you go. We died. Gaze upon true terror. Shadow, come forth. Oh, yay. Black fangs, which I guess is like Zantazugan? Perhaps? If I said that right. It's this is how you say it. Not that way, because you are a dumbass. Or I can kill everyone but Cecil for some strange reason. The hell? Wait a minute. That looks like a We've seen that before, haven't we? Wait. What what what's going on here? Ridia? It's fucking Ridium! Ridia's back! Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh, Ridia's alive after all this time? Oh my god! You gotta be kidding me! Ridia's alive! Did that sound, uh, genuine? It actually is genuine, because it's freaking Ridia, man! Oops. Yeah, first thing you want to do, heal everyone. Get everyone alive. Trust me. Oh, well, he's dead. Or not. Uh, it doesn't really, I don't think it really matters what magic you use for um, Rydia. Um, here, I'm gonna cure... Uh... That's not what I want to do. I couldn't see, man. Oh, well, Yang doesn't get any experience. Oops. Oh well. Well, that was actually a lot easier than I thought, huh? DS version is a hell of a lot harder. But yeah, Rydia, what happened to you? I was actually going to address this, but it, it, this addresses it themselves. Leviathan took me to the land of summons, a world of summoned monsters. We became friends during my stay. I learned a lot there. I can't use white magic anymore, but I've grown strong as a summoner. Time flows differently there, so I may have aged quite a bit. Psha, no kidding! That explains why your appearance has changed. Yeah, from what, 5, 6, or 8 to, I don't know, mid-20s maybe? Cecil, who is she? It's the girl we found in Mist. Yeah, the girl you wanted to kill! And here we are saving our ass and saving your ass, even though you wanted to freaking slit her throat in the second episode. Asshole. Fortune favors us indeed. No, it's luck that Cain was smart enough to decide to not kill a little girl who would in fact come to save the frickin world. The universe even. Probably. You don't have to thank me. The queen of the land of summons said to me, a great force is secretly at work. We must confront it together. And yet they don't come with us. But Rydia does. And now Radia, as far as I know, is with you for the rest of the game, which is awesome. The hell? That's weird. What's even more stupid is we're just like, oh my gosh, it's Radia. Let's not pay attention to Golbez at all. 
And that's what happens. They end up losing the crystal because Gobez takes it. Ah. Why are people stupid? Forgive me, Gobez has taken the crystal. That was completely wrong. I said the whole freaking whatever. Let's protect it at all costs. But where can we find it? In the sealed cavern to the southwest where Gobez is heading. Do not worry, he cannot enter without the key. I have a request. We will do anything. It was our fault the crystal was stolen. Thank you, Cecil, for you are actually taking initiative to blame yourself for everything. Because it, it actually is your fault. I want you to retrieve the seven crystals of the Tower of Babel. <laughs> right. That's gonna go over real well. Presuming it would be four. No, they're just gonna, you know, have the crystals just, you know, right outside. Oh, hey, Cecil, go ahead and take it. It only took us hundreds of years to take this crystal. To take all of these crystals, in fact. And now we're just gonna give them to you at any point in time. Because you know what? Hey, we're nice guys. We may have taken the crystal in order to try to, you know, control the whole freaking world. But that's okay. If you want them, here, have them. It's fine. You will sneak in and sneeze, sneeze the crystals. Yes, we will sneeze the crystals out of our noses. The plan must be executed and immediately before Gobez returns from the sealed cavern. Well, what do you think? A large force might be waiting. It's a risk. As they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Yeah. As his majesty says, now might be our only chance. We'll go to the tower and reclaim the crystals in a couple episodes. For now, specifically, this has been going on for way too long. So, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will be seeing you all next time. See you guys later.